So yesterday I got um, scared probably for the first time ever about the idea of being old and regretting how I spend my time. This idea that I'm gonna be 80 years old one day and I'll look back at my life and you know be like where did all this time go and um, I wanted to share one very powerful example at least to me it's like super powerful um, on how how we lose our time without even fucking noticing so I used to spend around 15 to 20 minutes per day every morning to style my hair. Um, that was still when I was in high school and college. Pretty much looked exactly the same, but I put hair products in there. I put like a powder in there and like hair gel and all of this stuff. So anyway, I spent 20 minutes every morning to style my hair. That's not a lot of time, right? It's like 20 minutes. You don't even notice it. It's part of your morning routine. You don't notice it. but. A different way to look at it is 20 minutes is a 72nd part of your day, right? Because a day has 24 hours and you spend a third of an hour every day on styling your hair, which means you spend one out of, out of 72 parts of your day with styling your hair, which means... If I live to be 72 years old, I will have one full year just styling my hair. That's fucking insane. One full year of my life would have been spent on literally making my hair look nice. And now the question is, will I look back at 72 years old and be happy or excited or proud about having spent one year, one full year out of my lifetime with making my hair? To me, personally, the answer is hell no. And so I stopped a while ago. But these things apply, this applies to so many things. Our day, like we waste 10 minutes here and there and 20 minutes here and there just scrolling through Instagram and doing random things that don't really contribute neither to our happiness nor to our progress but we're like oh it's just 10 minutes it's just 20 minutes it's just half an hour but these things fucking add up over a lifetime right and so I don't want to waste my time and to me when I say waste my time I'm actually not meaning kind of not spending time off work. I'm actually not meaning being hyper like efficient with work and just working all day. It's actually kind of the opposite. Like if I'm building something meaningful, yeah, but if I'm just working for the sake of working, like will I really be happy about spending my time in that way? It's really just about like what are the things that I feel good about looking back at, you know, 80 years old? And what are the things that I'm like, holy fuck? I spent one year styling my hair. That is one year that I will not get back that I could have spent with my family, being out in nature, you know, exploring a city or, you know, enjoying life or, you know, working on something meaningful to me. But I chose to spend one year out of my life on hair. So yeah, th that's, I wanted to share that thought and that example. And I'm trying to like remind myself of that as often as possible because that example, at least to me personally, is just so fucking 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day turns into one full year in your lifetime. Like if you spend 20 minutes a day scrolling mindlessly through Instagram, which most of us, it's way more. It's one hour, it's two hours, it's four hours. If we're doing that for two hours a day, that's six years of our life. We will have spent, if we're 72 years old, six full years just mindlessly scrolling through Instagram. That's insane. So... Yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Um, I actually made a list about things that I 
want to be very mindful of that are a waste of time to me personally. Um, to me, those are scrolling mindlessly through Instagram, working without intent, hashtag or AKA being busy for the sake of being busy, which I'm really good at. I'm getting better at it to not do that anymore. Being angry, being jealous, regretting the past and worrying about the future, building something I don't care about, helping someone else build something that I don't care about. God fucking damn it. I have a hard time sneezing these last couple of days. What just happened is I tried to sneeze. Um, read something I find boring, spend time with someone I don't wanna be around, making my hair, procrastinating, overthinking, reading or watching the news, choosing an outfit, arguing, which is different to debating to me, arguing with someone who's already, you know, not listening. This is not an extensive list and this obviously a list for me. Feel free to add anything if you have anything that comes to mind. I'm gonna be extending that list. Um, and I think it's good to have a list because then you can literally, if you forget about it and you have a note and a reminder to yourself and you go back to this in a month, you can literally go through the list and be like, did I do this the past month? Did I spend um, time like worrying about the future or being jealous and angry or did I spend a lot of time scrolling mindlessly through Instagram, you know? Yeah, don't waste your fucking time. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the China